Why is chiropractic care not helping you with your chronic pain? That's what we're going to talk today and kind of give you an understanding of why this, this happens. Um, so first of all, make sure you subscribe to our, our channel. We really help people avoid surgery, medications, and injections. And honestly, we see patients that have been to four, five, six, seven, eight different healthcare providers, which is why I can really talk on this topic because many of our clients have been to chiropractors and did not find a solution to their back pain or their headaches, or their neck pain or their knee pain or whatever the case may be. It's really, really common um, that we see that. So make sure you subscribe because we have some great tips and education that we are constantly putting on this channel. So one of the biggest reasons I'm going to give you kind of a little bit of a history. So overall in general, you know, when people went to go see a physical therapist, they couldn't directly go and see the physical therapist. They had to go to a doctor. The doctor had to prescribe some physical therapy and that's typically um, what was happening. So when you see a chiropractor, a lot of times like, oh, I hurt, I go. And they do a fantastic job um, because it's very recent. It's a new injury or you just started having pain. Those cases are pretty easy to resolve. Um, and they get great results, just like physical therapy gets great, great results for something that's very recent. But typically what happens in, in the physical therapy world is that all of a sudden they start, a patient starts hurting, they go to the doctor, the doctor says, oh, here's some medications and here's, um, and just rest, like that'll help. And I'm like, okay, then they've been hurting for about two or three months and, and, and I have been resting, I haven't been doing as much. So that typically happens. And then after that, what happens is that doesn't work. They go send you to a specialist. They do some imaging. Um, by the time they get to physical therapy, it's been seven, eight, nine, ten months or years um, before they actually get in to see us. So we typically see the patients that have had that chronic pain. So why does chiropractic does not help with chronic pain? And I'm not talk talking about all chiropractors. This is a generality. I mean, there's always, um, you know, those you know, fantastic chiropractors that do it just an amazing job, but just like physical therapists, not everyone does a really good job with treating chronic pain. So overall, you know, I always say you have to get the mobility back first before you get into stability. And this is where we have issues with some physical therapists because they just go directly to here's some exercises. Let's start strengthening it versus really looking at like, what does the mobility look like? How do the joints move, which is what chiropractors do a really good job of. But, you know, I always say like where the side of the pain is often not where the source of the problem's coming from. So if you have, let's say back pain, sometimes you can have issues in your thoracic spine. Like there's some pieces there that aren't moving. And when things aren't moving and they've been like this for a really long time, it's really hard to get a manipulation. I'll hear clients like the, doc, the, uh, the chiropractor tried to, but it's not really working. They can't get a good um, manipulation on it. It's because the joint is so stiff. And you actually have to stretch the joint. Um, and once when you get things stretched, then you can start getting things to move and, and then actual, actually manipulations, um, you know, can start happening again, but you have to stretch the joint. And this is what happens when they're chronic. And why does this happen? Why does the joint get so stiff? Well, as we get older, obviously we just don't heal as quickly, but we also aren't as active. So we could be sitting in front of a computer. And so our body's always in the same position. And if we're always in the same position and we're kind of hunched over, or we're rounding out with, with our shoulders, what happens is um, those joints tend to get stiff because as you're always moving in one direction, it's kind of like if you pull your finger back and you hold it there um, day after day, year after year, year after year, like literally the joint starts like not moving very well and it gets really stiff. This happens to our joints. So if we're always moving it in the same patterns, that's not good. We need to take things that we've moved, that we're always moving in one direction and we need to move it in the other direction. Um, and that's really where we come into play of just asking some of those questions to figure out, okay, what are the things that are, that you notice that are making you worse? What are things that are making you better? Give me an idea of like what happens throughout your day. So we start understanding the patterns of how you are moving. And then we start going and doing evaluations, testing, you know, whatever the joint that hurts, we test above, we test below. Sometimes we test two, two, two levels above um, the joints um, just to make sure that things are fully moving. Because if something's not moving, something else is going to compensate. Something else is going to take over. Um, something else is not going to be able to fire correctly. Strengthening wise, you're not going to be able to, to get some of those muscles to operate correctly. We've got to get the body moving. So 
That is the really the biggest reason why people don't get results when they go see chiropractors that have had chronic pain. And honestly, this is not a bash on chiropractors. They're fantastic. I have great chiropractor friends, but typically the clients that we see are people that have literally had pain for a long time. They've tried so many different other, other things, different chiropractors, other physical therapists. And so this is what we see. And this is what we've noticed is it's just that, you know, you've got to look at the whole body. You've got to look at all the pieces. It's not just that the muscles tighten up and we just get a massage. No, we've got to see how everything works together, making sure that we're not treating a symptom so that we can get you the results. And that's what we do is we get people results of getting their life back and feeling fantastic again, even when they've been told that they needed to have surgery or there's nothing else that they could do. That's our specialty. So if you're thinking about things um, in your life, think about things that you do repeatedly. I'm going to give you an example. We sit all the time because we're sitting in front of a computer. So what, what do, that means that we're always bending. Take that joint in the opposite direction. Start stretching it. Get a towel roll and arch back over it so that you can start getting the joints to move in the opposite direction, which makes everything move um, nice and, and, and fluid. It doesn't keep us in the joint moving in the same direction that creates these patterns. It stiffens us up. So that's just one tip that you can think about. Think about the joints that you're moving all the time in the same direction, take them into the opposite direction, hold those positions for a minute, just like you're stretching a muscle, stretching a joint, hold them for a minute, hold them for two minutes, do it two, three, four times throughout the day and notice what kind of results that you're going to get. So if you have any other, um, issues or things that are going on that you want help with, make sure we'll have it the link in our description. Um, we have things called a free discovery visit, or we have other resources, free resources for you. Make sure you, you look in the description so that you can get, um, our most recent education events that are happening, um, so that you, we can help you continue your education and you understanding how your body works.